<laughs> and now for something completely different. Did you say your hair's still wet? Yeah. So is mine. Your ball hair. <laughs> 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 it's actually very hot in Canada today. Fetchy balls. <laughs> Later he's gonna soak his gooch in the fucking two foot pool. <laughs> Isn't that a Saturday Night Live thing with Alec Baldwin? Sweaty balls. Sweaty balls. His name was. He was a, a cook, and his name last name was Sweaty, and he made meatballs or something. He says, "Would you like to try my sweaty balls?" They're made from a secret Sweaty family recipe. <laughs> No one can resist my sweaty balls. I think I saw that. That was pretty yeah. good, yeah. That's fine. Yes, it's going to be like 30 some degrees today. Yeah. We're not complaining. We're Canadian. I, today's the day for me. For what? I mean, Brad, my bitch. It's every day. I don't mind being her bitch in some ways. <laughs> oh, today's going to be my real bitch. When it comes to. Uh, you know, gardening and work around the house, it's another story, but... Oh, that's, that's actually what I was talking about. In the bedroom, it's fine, dear. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, promises. <laughs> All right, promises. let's watch Carl Pilkington. Nobody wants to listen to our perverted talk. Speak for yourself. Especially dude. with your dirty mouth. Oh, you're the pervert. <laughs> Fucking perv, man. <laughs> Only for you, baby. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're on the last episode, I think, of season one, other than, I think, the next one they're supposed to... Yeah, there's a video that says deleted scenes. Are we supposed to watch that? Let us know. We don't know. Otherwise, we'll jump to the next one, so... It seems to be... The, oh, from season one? I guess. It seems to be on this list that we're watching, so... Oh, I, maybe we should do it and put it separate? like. A, well, yeah, no, we'll do that after. It's like 25 minutes long, so I'm just oh, asking... Okay the audience who uh, is much more educated than, than us on Carl Pilkington, an idiot abroad. Um, idiot abroad. <laughs> so you can let us know anyways if we're supposed to watch that. The microphone looks like I've got an extra boogie. Oh, does it? That's all right. Oh, don't mind my third tit. <laughs> <laughs> it echoes when you talk Isn't that anyway. a joke? <laughs> it's like God, God originally made Eve with three boobs. And then he took one off to make the man? Yeah. <laughs> because he said it was a useless tit. <laughs> that sounds accurate. That sounds pretty accurate. Okay. Man. Good joke. All right, here we go. Or dad joke, I don't know. Peru. Peru. We got a treat box from Peru, did we not? We did, yeah. All right, let's see what happens. In Peru. First discovered by Western Eyes in about 1911, Machu Picchu in Peru. Truly one of the seven wonders. You must be very familiar with that. Breathtaking. No, I haven't heard of that. Never heard of it. Good view. <laughs> Good view, important. Yeah. Um, bit out of the way. It's accessible by an 11 hour trek through the mountains. Well, that's not accessible, is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's true! That wouldn't cut the mustard on location, 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 would it? You can't live like that, can you? You can't, I, I mean, I, people moan at me, delivery drivers moan at me, and I want just because I'm on a second floor. <laughs> so if you're up there, they're going to have a right whinge on by the time they get to you. It's true. You don't seem that phased by the fact you've got to do an 11 hour trek. I like a walk. I'll probably see loads of better things on the way than I do when I get there. Uh, camping. Yeah, camping's all right, you know what I mean? It's quite relaxing. You're out in the open air. Quite like the idea of that. The only thing that's annoying with camping is a uh, toilet situation. Up here. In India, hole in the ground. Yeah. It is better. It can't possibly be better. Why not? In China, where I thought they're advanced, it still had a hole in the ground. That's like me That's the main panic that I've had about this trip. How am I going to do it in the woods? I made this a little camping chair. It kind of hole in it. Got a hole in it. <laughs> so it doesn't rip anymore, I just put staples around it. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, because I haven't had any bare arse on it yet. But it's only eight quid. Pop that up. Sit there like that. I can put my toilet roll in the drinks over. Once I've used it a bit. 
It's not a bad idea. It's alright, isn't it? I mean, it's the last one, isn't it? It's, it should be the easiest one, because in my head, I'm going, it's over now. So no matter how bad it gets, I think that'll keep me going. Not happy with this. Seriously, not happy with this. It's funny how the director's got in a different one. I'm not getting on this. Why is it landing on water? There's enough land here. Chop, chop some of the trees down. There's shitloads of land. Make another runway. Why are we landing on this? I thought we were just going to Machu Picchu. I've got to go on a plane. And apparently there was smoke here. Yeah, look, they've got the engine open, look. Oh my god, you burned it. Is it easily sorted? You fix it? No. You, you can't fix it. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. It's okay. It's kind of putting it back a bit. Bit of banging. We get on it, met the captain, he's called George, which isn't a name that pilots normally have. <laughs> when you hear them on the speaker thing, it's normally the surnames they use and stuff in it, sort of the posh sounding. I've never heard, all right, George here, that's, that isn't a, a, a pilot's name, that. Oh, fucking hell. Whoa, what's he doing? Every time I looked over, he seemed to have his hand on something and the fellow next to him sort of grabbing it, going, don't do that, and he's sort of looking like, what? I think that's why they have doors on planes, so you can't see the captain. It's nothing to do with security, it's just so you can't see the div who's driving it. Because it puts you on edge, doesn't it? And then I looked again, he's got butties out. He sat there having his lunch. It's only an hour flight, have it before we go or when we get there. Yeah. So it's just little things like that that niggle me. So are we landing down here? Where's the wonder? Hello, mate. It's Steve here. Hope you had a good flight and everything. And uh, just wanted to let you know about a very slight change of plan. Um, Ricky and I were having a chat and we sort of agreed that it seemed a bit mad for you to go straight to Machu Picchu. So we thought um, you could just sort of make your way there through the jungle. <laughs> you know, you just, just follow the Amazon. Um, I think it's only about a thousand kilometres south. To, to get to the wonder. Obviously, you know, we, we wouldn't leave you stranded. We've um, arranged for a local jungle guide called Will to look after you. He's going to sort you out with a place to stay and everything. Again, as always, very jealous of you, my friend. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Very jealous. It just annoys me because they always say to me, that, well, you always come across pissed off and all that, and people would love to do what you're doing, but they wouldn't because I'm constantly on edge. I haven't slept for about 30 odd hours. Ah, so... You ever been to the jungle before? No, but the, why would I? Why would I go to the jungle? I've never watched Tarzan. I thought I'd like to go there on holiday. <laughs> it never looks great. Yeah, true. Lots of bugs, like, in here right now. It's the last one. Yep. I know, but that's what worries me. It's, it's the last one. That's, that's part of the problem, though, isn't it? Because Ricky and Steve are going, let's go out on a bang. These are getting on my tits already. <laughs> what do you make of the Amazon? Is this it? I don't want to see all of it, so get that out of your head. I mean, it's no different to the Thames, is it? Is it a nice place where we're staying, Will? It's a jungle land. We're staying in the jungle. Get your pooper out. <laughs> It's getting to the end of the day. I've got to go in the jungle. I've got to try and sleep in the jungle. Be careful. I have to watch where you're walking. We have many species of dangerous things. I walk like scorpions, tarantulas, spiders, uh, ants. Fuck! Fucking hell! <laughs> I want to go home. 
Now we are very lucky to find a light at the moment to lucky. find a place where we we lucky. stay. We are lucky. Come on. I'm going to fucking get it. No, he's not muddy. Put a fit there over there. Please find more. I'm not. Yes. Can't be bothered. What is this about? <coughs> How do you know where you're going now? There's, there's no path or anything. You're just chopping away. This is the place where we stay. We'll be resting tonight in here. This is a good place, is it? Yeah. <coughs> what do you make of the campsite? It's not a campsite. What are you on about? Campsite. This isn't a campsite. I've been to campsites. A toilet, showers, maybe a little arcade. <laughs> Fella on a, you know, on the front gate, checking you've got a pass to come in. <laughs> to them, at home, watching it, they're going, don't know what all the fuss is about. We've seen this time and time again. I am knackered, and I don't know how to get that across to them at home, that I'm pissed off. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you could use that chair too. We've filmed a little bit so far. I know, but I, I tell you what, I'll tell you what we could do. Like Attenborough does, he's got it right. He does a little thing at the start going, here I am in the Amazon. You never see him again. It's all voiceover. I bet he lands. I bet they go, keep that fucking plane engine running. Here I am in the Amazon. Then he fucks off, back off, back off home, and then he's sat in a studio, and there I was with a frog. Where? We never see him anymore. He's never there, he's never there with a the frog in his hand. It's always like a, a big close-up. You don't know where he is. He's at home. Yeah. And I, I'm sat in a toilet that I've made. That I know I'm, I'll be sat here later, having a shit, thinking, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I don't understand what you're thinking. I mean, I thought Ricky and Steve were sending me to Machu Picchu, so why am I in the middle of the Amazon now? The cowbell. That was last night, then. I can't stay here again. I can't. I, I can't. Ah, fucking shit. <laughs> I can't stay here again. I've got to move on. And I can't do the tent again. So I might as well forget this. Mm. At like one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, I'm pissing into an Evian bottle. <laughs> this wasn't the plan. This wasn't the plan. It, nothing makes sense in here. That's the other thing, nothing makes sense. Now, that's how much water I had last night. That, there's a little bit left in the bottom there. There you go. Oh no. So how have I managed to piss that much? <laughs> It doesn't add up. I've got a piss more than I've drank. And look at the colour of it. That isn't healthy. I'm not a doctor, but I've never pissed like that before. I know I'm not that old yet, but I reckon this is the lowest point of my life. I mean, I'd eat a rodent if there was nothing else, but it's hard to sort of sit over there and tuck down, you know, tuck into a, a rat when I know I've got beans and sausage here. It just seems a bit, a bit daft, doesn't right? it? I don't normally cook at home. I'm a bit old to see them. The deal is. She does the cooking, I wash up. I've got a dishwasher now. So I don't really do anything. Yeah. Nice. Just have a wander about. Basically I'm just showing you a tree now. There's nothing there. Don't be thinking that green thing's anything. Anything? No, that's just a bit of mould. You know, do we actually need these creatures for the world to, to go on? Right, that one there I'm talking about, the one with its head down. Right, there you go, it's walking over there. 
and a little wrestle with another other one. Just started a fight, so that's that's a bit of a hooligan, that one. Everywhere you look, there's stuff whizzing around your ears all the time, or crawling up your arm, or I'm just going to get bitten a lot. Little stick insects I've just found on a tree. Oh, there's always something white. on my arm. Yeah, yeah. Look at that little fly sat there as well. Imagine it. Imagine being a sick insect walking about. You'd be forever going, is that what's his name? And if you get, you'd have to walk all the way up to the twig. You know, oh, it's just a, a <laughs> twig again. It doesn't work. She looks nice. I'm going over there. All right, love. Oh, oh it's just a stick. It's hard. It's a hard life to be a stick insect. Oh, it's not a cream, well, What's that tree all about? <laughs> trees, dangerous trees. I was worrying about scorpions and spiders and shit. <laughs> Fucking tree with knives coming out of it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, remember when we cleared the land we had to cut off I feel like I've seen the jungle now. You know, I've had a route around, I've seen all the insects and that, so I might as well just have another look at the Amazon. You know, everyone seems to make a fuss about it, saying, Oh, you know, the Amazon's nice and everything. What what I saw of it the other day, I wasn't that impressed. But Will wants me to go out again, so I might as well because there's nothing else to do. There it is. Will that come over? Huh? Tienes una manguera? Tienes una manguera? I had no idea they had dolphins swimming about. Do you like dolphins, Carl? Um, yeah, they're all right. It sort of gets on my nerves how people say they're really intelligent, because I've never seen any, any of them do anything that's blown me away. I don't know, maybe it's just the way they get raved about so much by people saying they're intelligent. That's what annoys me, because everyone's always calling me a div. So the fact that they're going, yeah, Carl's an idiot, but they're going, yeah, I would never guess that. That's, that's all I mean. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. I would have never thought her. there was Dolphin yeah. in the Amazon. Whoa! It's the waves. Yeah. I have one. I use ginger crinkle crunch. That's camping. It tastes even better, eh? Come on. What? Come on here. What? Come on. Is that Will? I have something to show you. I think you never see that. Do you see this kid? Fucking hell. I think he wants to eat something. Did you say it's poisonous or it's no, not? No, it's not poisonous. They bite you. They bite you, but it's not poisonous. It's well, not that's poisonous. No, that's, are, again, that's no good. They are... So these are the ones that wrap round you. Yeah. And then you sort of breathe in. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I'm going to stand over here a minute because. Why? You are in the jungle. I know I am. <laughs> I wish I wasn't. This is ridiculous. This. Nothing's normal, is it? I had two minutes over there, sat by a fire having a biscuit and a cup of coffee. <laughs> and all this is going on. I shook it a bit of biscuit. For what? It doesn't eat biscuit. You How eat do you biscuit. know? How do you know? Have you ever tried feeding one of them? No, a they well, eat then, they eat in frozen. Then. Listen to me. Let, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Biscuit? Oh my god, Carl, really? Light on it. They had this over here. What a waste of a biscuit, really. <laughs> wasted it yet. Not gonna eat it. No. You're like, what the hell is this poisonous food you're giving me? Yeah. The noise is doing me head in. There's different insects going off all the time. I like those sounds though. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I mean they say most of the jungle is nocturnal. But I'm not surprised. It all has to be awake through the night. There's no chance of getting any sleep here, <laughs> even if you're not a nocturnal animal. Let's face it, with this racket, I'm not going to get any sleep, am I? All right, mate. How's it going? Um, good. Well, you're heading upstream. We've arranged <laughs> for you to visit um, a little village. Um, the locals there are expecting you. Um, and you should know 
to be extra polite because they used to be cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, mate. Yeah. See you later. Come on. <laughs> Not a holiday. All right. Is he having a laugh? Probably. What does he mean, they used to be cannibals? <laughs> and now they're fine young cannibals. Oh, yeah. What are they doing now, then? What happens if it's just... I'm like a rare delicacy that <laughs> triggers something off? I don't know, we haven't had a white man for, for years. Before you know it, they're all giving it all this. Hey, 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 around the fire, me sat in a pot. <laughs> What am I going to do? You're worrying too much. <laughs> worrying too much. Just go and stay with some cannibals. Make you feel, you know, feel at home. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I haven't got a problem. If I got hungry, I'd quite happily eat human. There's no different. They say it tastes like pork anyway. <laughs> I thought it was chicken. But say if they took the lid off and it was just a foot and they sort of said, have a bit, I'd almost be a bit like, well, I want to know a bit about the person first. In the same way that we do with chickens, everything's got to be, is it organic? Where's this been brought up? What field has it been on? What's it been eating? I'd be a bit like that. I'd want an organic foot. I'd, I'd, I'd want to know the history of it. Did he have athlete's foot? How often has he changed his sock? Just a little bit of something that goes, yeah, this is a nice foot. It's worth eating. I would have never thought of that. <laughs> Oh right, didn't wave back, so that's... They don't know what that means, or they hate me already, I don't, I don't know. Nothing, nothing again. I'm not doing it again, it's embarrassing. It's like asking someone's name three times and not hearing them. Are they smiling, even? This is proper, isn't it? This is like proper tribe. That's cool, kind of, like, just to see a, a tribe. It is. Oh, shit. Have you seen me? What a knobhead I look. <laughs> what a way for them to see me. You can use the wood. Yeah, maybe use the stairs there. Are they up there? Oh, they're all watching as well. <laughs> the stairs here. You think line. they would have sorted this out for me if they knew it was coming? <laughs> Do I want the bags yet? You just pull the cord All right. like, <laughs> Okay. Is he leaving them there? He's glad to see the back of us, isn't he? Oh, maybe he is see you then. Look at him, he can't get out of here quick enough. <laughs> he knows more than I do, obviously. <laughs> Look at him, not hanging about, no waving. Raymond, Raymond. <laughs> Anyone watching at home, he does do tours. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Yeah. Nice hey, hey. Hey. How are you doing? Hey. How do you say hello again? Hello. The chief. Around. Presidente. 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 Oh, this is going to be hard work. See, I don't like that. I don't like the big, uh, all the attention. That's one of the reasons I haven't got married. All that photo, everyone's looking at me. You know where to look. You got whiskers. We're in there, we're now on stuff. It's like, what's going on? Damn, All right, look at you. <laughs> All right, what, what's huh? he saying, Aldo? Thank you, Bobby. You know what I'm What? We're so mature. You know what I'm doing, Joe? What's that? You know what I'm doing? Hang on, hang on. Hang on a minute. Where are you coming? That's what I say. Why am I coming? Where are you coming? I'm coming here. Ricky and Steve, my friends, asked me to stay here on the way to Machu Picchu. I've just been explaining to a um, fella here that I'm on my way to Machu Picchu. Need somewhere to sleep? On my way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be staying here in a tent. Right, let's all uh, let's get on with it. We've all got stuff to do. Oh, God. Oh, God.
There's a woman with an axe. Right, um, and she's not draped wearing the stuff. It's like she didn't want to join in. A, it's mad, isn't it? No matter where you live, there's a nutter. You know, it's on a council estate in Manchester, London, in the jungle. There's always one in who doesn't want to join in. <laughs> Swinging an axe about. <laughs> Looks like it's going to chuck it down. <laughs> no one else seems to be showering. I know, I don't understand why. This is, this is brilliant. I mean, this children, this is... They believe in nature and stuff, don't they? That you use what God gives you. I mean, I don't know, I've just made that up. They haven't said anything like that, but I imagine that's what they do. <laughs> I just think he's crazy. <laughs> They seem to be somewhat civilized, eh? Like, well, I mean, wearing, wearing shorts, like... Yeah, like, yeah. they got shorts and some of them yeah. speaking with... Oh, there's a little alligator behind them. Is it alive? Look at the way it's just left there. <clears throat> it's not looking good for it, is it? I don't live here, but I'm guessing things aren't looking good for it. But I don't want to say don't do that, it's oh, cruel. Because yeah, they they'll go, yeah. okay, we'll go back to our old times then. Get Thank in the pot. You. So if it's me or that, I'll let them have that. Don't you want the head? <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? You'd love to eat that. I saw you cutting it off. <laughs> you cut it off, you eat it. <laughs> but can you let them know that I don't feel like I should take the food from them? Everybody wants you to but you're not telling them what I'm saying. I need, this is the one time I need you to, to explain. I don't, I don't think I should eat it. I shouldn't take food off them. I'm not actually a meat eater. I don't eat meat. Vegetarian. Beans and sausage? Isn't that not meat? <laughs> what are they doing for pudding? Like, he, ate, he had that earlier, didn't he? Yeah, maybe yeah. he's just saying that because he yeah. doesn't want to eat the alligator thing. Should not insult the tribe. Something. What the heck? What's happening, Aldo? I don't think I'd see that today. You know, a fella getting poison off a frog. A bit weird, wasn't it? Oh. And they believe that if they stick it on you, it gives you extra energy to go off and hunt, stuff like that. But it's all about up there, isn't it? You know, I mentioned the Auntie Nora with the amount of drugs she's on. If she was here, she'd be up for that. She'd go on and add that. What, what, what are you mixing there? Toad and a bit of spit. Oh, I want to try that. If it hasn't been tested on animals, it's been tested on me Auntie Nora. <laughs> So I thought they just burnt in with a stick and now they're cutting the, the toad sweat and man spit on it. Does that hurt? Ah, ah. Does that, does that hurt? It makes you feel dizzy. Why do you want that? Why do you want to feel dizzy? I'm going to be sick in a minute. Say no. Hello. No, I'm okay now. I'm full of full of life. I'm great. Can you let him know I'm full of energy? Tell him. Tell him now. I have that. Mm. Sort of. I'm not having it done. Come on, let's go hunting. Oh God. See what's happening here. Keep walking. <laughs> Keep walking. Is this for the hunting or is she just a bit forward? When <laughs> the women came over, put a bit of makeup on me. It made me look like a like a jaguar. That's the idea. Hang on. Young Johnny. Picking his arrows, this for the championship. That's what I do in the end, to sort of build it up like it's important. This for a hundred thousand pounds, and he's got it. <laughs> anyway, they had a go, they were good. I had a go, I was shite. I must have had about nine or ten goes. Oh. But people were starting to leave. Oh, I can't do it. 
can't do it. Looks like they're going hunting. I thought they would have said to me, do you want to just come? Even if they didn't want me there. I know I wasn't that great this morning with the, with the arrows. But they didn't even sort of sneak off and say, look, we're going to leave him behind because he's useless. Let's just go one at a time. Let's not make a big deal out of our hunt. Whole, the whole village came out again to see him off. Stay behind with the women and children. And that's another thing as well about tribes that I read before I come here. They only count up to three because they don't need a higher number. <laughs> I read that. I read that. Yeah. Honestly, you like this, you love it. You're the red, right? These are all yours. Connect four. Yeah. Because they live in a world where they don't deal with mass. It's all like, do you want chicken leg? Yeah. How many do you want? I'll have two. He sees he's not got it, has he? So, now watch. Right, so I win. Whee! <laughs> We've been out hunting. Yeah. How many chickens did you get? Got three. <laughs> what, is that all we've got? No, Harry got two. <laughs> oh, so we've got three and two. Oh, great. They don't need to, they don't need to go higher than that. Which is why they probably don't understand Connect Four. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> go on, someone else have a go. This fella looks serious. He's got a sort of a intelligent kid's haircut. <laughs> oh, haven't heard from you. I hope you don't just been mucking around. This is a job. Um, let's get you out of the jungle. You're going to catch a flight now to Cusco. Um, and you're gonna do the Inca trail. Come on, mate, let's get on with it. All right, boy, see you later. No, you down the kit. Carl, hey? I, I think they want you to pay for all the gifts you've been given. Can you get Aldo to tell these that I haven't got any money? Because it's a bit awkward, this. It doesn't translate anything. You have to give them back. All right, I'll give them back. Yeah. But it's not because I don't want them, it's because I just haven't got any money. See, I don't have any money, they don't give me any money. I thought they wouldn't take them off me. Seems like a bad ending now. It's all gone a bit downhill now. I haven't got any money. Capitalist tribe. No, they left them there. Oh, there you go. Basically, I've got to get on a plane and get over to a place called Cusco start the walk up to Machu Picchu which is fine by me because it's we're getting closer and closer it's just you know let's get on with it just waiting for a plane weird that isn't it people at home will be going but you're in a bus stop <laughs> not the airport where is the runway just, just over there I think that that field it's not, it's not an airport then, is it? There's a bloke who's built a hut and got his lawnmower out. Is it safe? It just seems a bit mad that they've got planes when they haven't got runways. Like people on bullseye when they used to win boats when they live in a block of flats. Casco. I wasn't even aware of this. That needs like 30% less oxygen. I've never heard of that. They're pretty high up. So that's going to wear me out, isn't it? You'd have to get used to that. They don't tell you that, do they? Come and see the wonder and suffocate to death. I mean, I know the wonder is meant to take my breath away. More like this. have got oxygen over there. You've got what? You, you can buy oxygen reception. 
is it like, do they have like a, a little cupboard, like the fridge that they have, where they charge you ridiculous amounts for a bottle of water? Up there, they'll have a cupboard full of oxygen, and they know if you're in there going, <laughs> you're not going to be going, how much? <laughs> you're going you're gonna to pay how much? You, you, what price do you put on a bottle of air if you need it? I bet they've got a right scam going on here. Alright, oh, you out of the jungle? Yeah, just about. I'm just uh just left there yesterday, just in Costco. Oh. It's guy one, wanna talk about series two. Yeah, well I'm not doing I'm not doing any more of this, so you can tell them now. They don't even have to don't wait for me to get home, just say he's not interested. <laughs> he's been around the world now, he's seen it all, he's done everything knock it on the head. I've been through a load of shit here. <laughs> tell them now, call them now, and tell them that we're not doing series two. Nip that in the bud. Oh, so you've got yeah. my heart going more now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Apparently it's a tradition that if you're going on a long walk, like I'm about to do, that I'm not in the mood for, it's good to see this doctor who blesses your body, checks out that you're well, and gets you ready for the, the trek ahead. So I, I, I meet this bloke, a local fella, called Richard. <laughs> Tiny. He's thinking he's miles away. Turns out he's about four foot, so he seemed further away than he actually was. <laughs> Richard, yeah? Yeah. And you? Carl. Carl. Carl, yeah. Carl. How are you feeling? Um, Sick. Yeah. Uh, shits. Yeah. Headache. Headache. You got out like this bag of shite. Bits of grass. Plastic things. You know when you have a bowl at home and you go, I might need that, and you have like you chuck things in it, screws, bits of cotton, string. <laughs> belly button fluff, whatever. It's like he'd been round and gone and emptied all the shit bowls around the country and <laughs> stuck it in a bag. Now he got out a guinea pig at one point. I'm not quite sure what was going on. Does he bite? Yeah. He does? Yeah. But when you've seen a doctor who's using string and old earbuds and stuff, you kind of think, well, the guinea pig's probably got more of an idea of what's wrong with me than this fella has. So I just went along with it. I wanted a second opinion from him. You know what I mean? From the guinea pig. No, no, no. I, I don't quite understand what's happening here. This is bad thing. Anything problem for your guinea pig? He said all the badness that was in me was transferred to the guinea pig. So somewhere, you know, there's a guinea pig walking around with major shits. <laughs> and a bad attitude. Is it this way? <laughs> Keep going. All right, you ready? Do we have to bring all this stuff? Jesus, it's like going out with my mum. She stops at every shop. Enjoying the walk, Carl? No. Because I'm not well, am I? Not well. It's too hot. That bit of toffee you gave me is worn out. You got any more? I'm not in the mood for this. Just tell us which way it is. There's no way anyone will be watching this going, that looks pleasant. Elsie, fancy going there? Definitely not. How can I enjoy it after this? Or is it meant to work that way? That, you know, you're just happy to be there. God almighty. It's in loads of people do this. I haven't seen anyone. Oh no, that's How much better is it? How much better is Machu Picchu compared to that? It's beautiful. Don't you think it's amazing that they made these kind of buildings and that it's just going to get better? I think you're talking shit. <laughs> because I'm not looking for house here. This isn't a property programme, is it? I'm not going to go, just like this, 
but just something with a bit, 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 you know, a bit more outside space. What, what am I doing it for? If it's exactly like this, let's stop here. Doesn't make sense though, because these things are living in look like bungalows. Well, what's the point if you've got to keep doing this? You might as well have a house with stairs. A bit more pleasant. I don't get it, why don't they just want to rest? They've been walking up there with all these bags, out of breath, and now they're wasting breath, just making a racket. I mean, that doesn't even sound nice to me. That's not relaxing. They're all doing their own thing here. I mean, I've had, I had a cassette of pure moods, like panpipe stuff. Used to sort of make a bit, bit of a romantic evening. Didn't sound like that. And there certainly wasn't a rat involved. Oh, God for that. Oh. I'm gonna keep walking. All right, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your dinner. Yeah. Come on, Carl, you can do it. Welcome to Machu Picchu. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Nice job. Yes. You're having a laugh, aren't you? See you. Ta da. Are we done a full circle? First impressions. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. There isn't one. There isn't one. I just feel... I felt that view earlier that I saw was better than this one. You sure you're looking at the right thing? That bit of grass and rock over there. <laughs> I'm not going any further because it's more of what we've already seen. I'm not killing myself. I've done everything that Ricky and Steve have wanted me to do. We need to do it anyway, Carl, we can't. Well, go then. You're standing here, the sun's going down. Get over there. I am not going. I'm, I, I'll tell you now, I'm not going anymore. It's been a workout for the camera guys too, isn't it? Yeah, I would think, I mean. Oh, then where do I find you? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of at the wonder. Kind of at the wonder, or are you at the wonder? I mean, I, I'm at the wonder, but I've only just got here, so I've been walking about eight hours, right? Now, right. I'm at a point where I can see the wonder, the cameraman can see the wonder, but Richard, who's in charge, is worrying, going, Sky, I want to see the wonder. Have you got a problem if we just see it from here, have a look, and go? I am not sure I'm happy about this, Carl. I want to see the wonders of the world in HD. That's what concerns me. Yes, friend. yes. I've got you this gig with Ricky on Sky One. It's a major television thing. If they're putting all their money behind this, this is, their, this is make or break for them. But I've been walking for eight hours, and the view from here is magnificent. Are you just saying that now? Are you being honest with me? I think it looks magnificent. Carl, I have never heard you use the word magnificent my life, so I'm suspicious. You feel that the, the view of the sky are not going to be deprived, and yeah. I trust you. Well, I know you're not going to let them down, you're not going to let me in this down, you're yeah. certainly not going to lie. No. Yeah. never lie. No. <laughs> Don't bother telling Ricky or anything, I'll speak to him when I get back. Alright. Alright, see ya. Yeah. Bless you, bye. There you go then. See? Easy. We'll just do a David Attenborough job on it when I get home. Just do a load of voiceover. <laughs> job done. Seventy miles from Cusco is one of the old ancient cities of the world. A maze of old rock and um, sort of huts, you know, sort of rock huts, boulders, walls, lots of rock related old stuff, you know, get, get lost in the maze. That's amazing actually. Yeah.
how they built that's, this. That's an easy thing to do. I mean, look at that old fella down there. He needs a step ladder to get out of the place. God knows what she's playing at. And that's good, isn't it? Wonder of the world. Protect it with some strings, why not? I mean, I'm struggling here, if I'm honest with you. I don't know how to sell it to you. Do you like llamas? <laughs> They ended up doing a voiceover for the rest. Yeah. yeah. They must have been exhausted, though. I mean. Well, I mean that's climbing uphill for like. Eight that's hours. a hard walk, yeah. Damn. Yeah. I would have been dead. Yeah, that's a hard walk. I wouldn't mind trying that though once, like, not the jungle part. Forget that. I've, I've never been interested in going to the Amazon. No. No, it's just like. I mean, our forest here is bad enough, you know. It's, uh, we have a lot of bugs and it's stuff. It's bugs yeah. and that, but I mean, it's nothing like the Amazon. The Amazon is like snakes and spiders and everything that you don't want. Well, yeah. Tarantulas, spiders. Yeah. Here you can put on bug spray and you're fine. Go into the bush, you're fine. Uh, if you take the take the dogs with you, you don't have to worry about bears and. No, stuff like that. no, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, so everything kind of stays away from you. And, yeah. You know, unless you find something really aggressive. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like a bear with cubs or something. Well, like, yeah. You know, like I said, though, I, I go on dog walks all the time in the in the forest, and yeah, I've seen a few few bears and a wolf and a few other things, but they just run away when they see a whole bunch of dogs around you. So yeah, they're more skittish. Than mm, I've been in plenty of little bush planes and stuff like that. Like, you know, I don't know why he was so scared of that. I don't know. He doesn't like planes. As he liked the helicopter, but he didn't like the planes. So. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe because it's kind of rickety looking and yeah. it's like there's smoke, smoke coming, coming out. Of <laughs> that might be a little freaky. Huh? I I don't have a problem going to the bathroom in the woods, so like I don't need a chair to sit in. I don't, but something, just to let you know. Something you would probably make, though. I could make something, yeah. yeah. I have made stuff. But Bring it to the On my walk. Just, just leave it in some place where he can just sit. Uh, sometimes when you drink too much coffee mm -hmm. in the morning and you go for a dog walk, um, it goes right through you. And you gotta be ready. Oh, God. And good old Canadian maple leaves make good toilet paper. Very soft. Remember, pick your leaves from high up, not from the ground, because you could get poison ivy or something. <laughs> you don't want to be rubbing that stuff on your bum. No. No. That would be bad. Alright. So that was good. That so, was good. Okay, so we're going to be on to series two. Yeah, and somehow they convinced him to do that. So, even though he says there's no way I'm going to do that, they must have paid him lots of money or something they to get him, something convince him to do they that. They had a contract. Ooh. I don't know, but it uh, should be good. So let us know if we're supposed to do the uh, uh, the deleted scenes, is it? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know how that works. So if that's just something extra somebody made, or if that's an actual thing. Like something that's part of the whole series. So let us know. Let us know. I think we should. We'll do it anyway, but let us know. Okay, we'll yeah. see you next time on The Pilkington Show. If you order from Seasons Eatings now, we can still send out a special sweaty ball sack in time for Christmas. Ooh, great idea. My niece would love a sack of sweaty balls. <laughs>